Uh, yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Counter. We are playing some more Total War Three Kingdoms continuing uh, with our campaign for... What's his name again? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Gong Shao... Oh yeah, there is. Gong Shenzhen. Man, I can never remember his name. Alright, so we apparently have another faction council mission. Congrats. Did we ever finish this one? I think we did. Okay, completed. So let's invoke council again. There is disgruntlement. People begin to lose faith and proliferate disorder. Sometimes only military might can convince uh, the people of China to remain placid and docile for their own benefit. So we need to move any character to the following county. Move any character to the founding county. How? Is that my army? Are you telling me to move my army over there? Uh, okay. I suppose. Also, why are you losing so much happiness? I guess the reserve problem is because we keep losing troops. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, let's go see if we can go blow up these salt mines, though, while we're over here. Can I hit you this turn? I uh, actually don't know if we can or not. It looks like it's going to take one extra turn. So because of that, let's actually just chill where you're at, and we're going to go once again in ambush stance um, just for now. So I'm thinking maybe we want to go ahead and get our next army up then. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and maybe work on an army. Well, hold up. Let's look. Is there anyone else that can get anything built right now? Characters, armies, commanderies. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Everyone's currently building something, so if that's the case, then yeah, let's go build something. Uh, Garrison issued character development. Okay, we've met new people. We got new buildings. Yeah. I'm assuming we have other builds, though. Maybe I built it before uh, we ended the last episode. Might have been that. So, anyways, let's go raise army. Like, are you unhappy because of... I don't know what's with the reserves. So, our kid should get in an army. The downside is our kid is currently... Hmm, that's true. That's true. I'm pretty sure our kid's on the assignment, is he not? Yeah. And he's coming back. So let's go ahead and just hit recall assignee. And then we should be able to assign someone else here. Uh, I wonder if I could assign someone up here to the toolmakers. Assignment. Now the toolmakers are going to give me industry. But then again, mustering turns would be really good. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the mustering turns right now seems really good. Okay, we'll run that. And then I guess we're going to raise the army and then go put them over there. And I'm assuming that's going to fix our mission. I, I don't actually know yet. So, okay, I guess we're good. Let's go next turn. Food's at zero right now, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, are we at war against both of those guys? That might be a problem. That might be a problem. Might be a problem. So there's one of these armies. Uh, Yun Shao coalition with Liu Bei. So the guy we're currently no 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 Lu Bei is with Yun Shao, Yun Shu, Yun Shu. Oh my gosh, these names, ah, uh, totally totally normal names. She, I mean they are normal names, but just normal names I'm used to, which I'm totally not used to. Am I uh, at war with Shi Yi? I don't think I'm at war with you. I cannot. Right. 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 Pretty sure. Have I even met you yet? No, I've not even met you yet, bud. But they're an enemy army, though. <sighs> no, they both belong to Yun Shao. Gotcha. They're both part of Yun Shao. Okay, Tiger, Tiger. A tiger problem in the camp panics the guards. The screams awaken your general, which leaps from the tent. Half dressed and wrestles the beast to the ground until it's properly subdued. Once later, another tiger's row is heard, but turns out uh, to be the contented uh, snores of your general coming from his tent. All right, plus morale for his own army. That's pretty dang good, dude. All right, let's go on normal march. And I could just go kill you. And he's going to run away. Then these guys would actually fight together. So let's go put you in town then. Okay, I think that'll work for now. Let's come back over to our capital. And then we're going to go raise an army with our kid. Beautiful. You actually don't have much of a garrison. So I think I'm probably going to go bring you with you. Yeah, something like that. Let's confirm you. A new army has been raised under the yeah, I am very aware. So let's go then look at recruiting another general. And you are actually positive. 
think I like this. I think I like this. And what kind of special units do we have over here? Can we do the cav archers with you? No. We do have the sword guards, though, which are pretty nice. Yeah, I really am digging the sword guards. I think I'm just do two sword guards and then give me a trebuchet. And then we'll probably just wrap... Like, not spend any more money. Uh, there is a spot we could be building some buildings. Which is which one? Uh, the one that's up there that's actually having issues. Mm-hmm. What would we have built here? I don't know. It's a good question. That's a good question. Food is still kind of sketch. Uh, characters. Our faction heir did level. So, what do we want to do with your level, then? We probably want to go grab either Bravery, which gives you extra expertise, or we can go grab Patience, which gives you a chance. Increase the rate of wall damage during sieges. That seems nice. Or you can charge and negate on your own retinue, and then uh, Fear and Terror, your guys are uh, also enabled. Yeah, I actually think I'd rather have that right away. Also, Tenacity of Steel seems really good. Okay, I like this. All right, son, let's do this. Let's go conquer the world together. And by world, I mean China. <laughs> okay, here he comes. The I figured this was going to go down. Your settlement. They are Am I worried? You before striking. Probably not. You may want to send an army to help uh, join war against faction. Zhang Yang. Them from being starved into submission. My ally wants me to declare war on Han Fu. I really am not interested in fighting someone else right now, considering I am being sieged. Just throwing that out there. Throwing that out there. That this is probably not a good time for that. You know. I'm actually wondering... Disease. Spreads through the ranks, but not natural pestilence. Man-made poison. Oh, that sucks. She. Is that his army? Oh, that's actually great for us, then. I have returned. Have my general's report. A valiant defeat. We're deploying 800. They're reinforcing with 1900. Let's cancel. I wonder if I can get my son over here. My blade is poised. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go here. And we can't recruit this turn. That's okay. Disease, I don't care about. Character development, I don't care about. Buildings, we finished a few. Siege and blockades, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we shouldn't be suffering any attrition yet, are we? Actually, we are suffering attrition. How are we suffering attrition on this first turn? You know what? Screw it. We're just going to go fight this. Start battle. We're just going to fight this. Forget it. Maybe we should have raised up our son a couple turns ago. Then we could have actually had him over here. Um, or we could have raised him to fight against our son. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm higher level than these guys. In addition to the fact that um, I think I can fight them in waves, we should be in a really good spot. Because we should be able to crush the initial army. Now, I kind of wish we could crush the siege army and then run back to town. That would be nice. The other thing is, are we going to actually fight outside our walls? For he who will but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it always takes place in the field. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's usually always in the field. Oh, the AI got smart. Huh. Okay. AI is used to not doing that. Or I'm used to the AI not doing that. So, I'm pretty sure we can't move through there. We actually have reinforcements, too. Okay. Okay. Let's do something like this. Because I don't want to do this next turn because we're going to take even more damage. I would rather just go fight this and get it done with. Because I'm pretty sure we should be able to win. And then I want everything that's not cav on two. Okay, and then we're going to put you guys in the middle. Whoops. Right here. Something like that. You guys are all on one. And then you guys can come somewhere over here. That's fine. And then you guys are all on four. And sorry, four. 
and I might actually keep you, you know, you know, there's a nice little wonderful hill right here. It's gonna give us a lot of range. It's gonna give us a lot of range. Let's do this. Let's put you up over here. And do something like that. And then my four, my cav, I wanna get you guys over here. Cause I want you guys in the forest. Okay, let's go ahead and start battle. So then I'm gonna grab everything here. And then you guys are gonna come up here. Something like this. Good. And then my cab, I think I want to put like right here. Okay. Reinforcements, get your butt up here. We actually got another lord. No, 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 no. Never mind. He's not actually a lord, he's just part of infantry. This is a terrible garrison, by the way. <laughs> uh, I was kind of hoping for a slightly better garrison in the scheme of things. So he actually has a catapult. Mm-hmm. Did his reinforcements show up? Because I'm not seeing them. But his catapult's really weak right now. Yeah. I wonder if we can get extra range, too. Probably not. Oh, uh, let's probably go up to speed. Get my guys in position. And is everyone walking? I don't know if they're walking or they just take a while to walk up town. Now, actually, a couple extra archers is probably not the worst thing either. So you guys got three. And then let's do something like this. Now, something like that. Oh my gosh, game. Go like maybe like here. Ugh, maybe like here. There you go. No, 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 no. Okay, like there. There we go. Okay, catapults. I want you to go shoot their catapults. And then I want all of you guys... Literally everything... But the catapults... To move forward? Ah, uh, wrong button. Wrong button. Now we'll leave it as is for now. Hmm. We got a little bit of time before this actually happens. Why are we on speed one again? Speed three. We got like 60 minutes here. So literally we have like a 20 minute battle at uh, triple speed. So you guys should be able to outrange simply because you have the uh, length. Let's go ahead and stop for a sec. Because we got these other guys coming up, and I think I'd rather everyone just merge together. And then once we get everyone merged together, we should be fine. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder why their units are hiding, by the way. I don't know how we don't have vision on them. But he's just got one catapult. We should be able to wreck him pretty quickly. And it actually looked like a lot of his army is actually really weak. So, feeling pretty good about this. Still don't... I uh, Don't know what the thing above their head means. I've seen it a couple times. I hadn't seen the green one before. Oh, does that mean, like, if I click on you, does that mean the unit is afraid of it? He's confident? Is that what that means? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe that's just showing you the um, X's and O's. So if I click on this guy, or archers, or this, or calf, Hmm. I don't know. It's a good question. Alright, let's move you up here. Are my guys here yet? Someday! Someday! So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, these guys again. And let's shoot. Good. And then I want to select my entire army. Select my entire army. Select my entire army. Select my entire army. Minus these guys. Wh why are you way over there? I never gave them an order. And you do something like this. And then you guys need to come like over here. Okay. 
You guys are also problematic, man. Problematic. What's your range? You still got a little bit of range here. Probably okay. We see them. They're still back in the corner. I mean, as long as I can kill this catapult, we're going to have to make them come at us. And they're actually coming at us. So, I think let's just chill. Because he's already walking to us. And let's just let him get up here. Somehow, I forgot to move one. <laughs> uh, you guys rotate just a little bit. Two. You guys need to be in on two as well. And then we're going to remake this line. Something a little more like this. Are they still coming? It looks like they are. Where's my range? They're actually going to get whacked first, so that's going to work out perfectly. We could also charge up here with the ch with our um, these guys, but they got five heroes right now compared to my three. Could be a problem. Could be a problem, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about two. Get you up just a little bit. And then we should be able to hit these guys. How's he able to shoot me? Oh, freaking hell. Uh, crap. Where's my, where's my archers? What the freaking heck are my archers not on a different... What happened? Three. Three. Two. Uh, and then five. I want you guys to... That's fine. Just start shooting. They shouldn't be able to hit me too hard, I would think. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and get everyone on loose formation. Loose formation. We'll leave you guys as is. Yeah, I screwed that up. I should have gone straight for his catapult. He actually has another catapult over there. I didn't actually think about, hey, not putting your catapult first is going to be a bad thing. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Um, you're on skirmish. Let's get away. I don't want you to take this much damage. I wish skirmish actually also counted against archers. So any ability to drag these guys away seems like a really great thing. Remember, these guys are also amazing against... Like, they're pretty good in melee. So I would not mind taking them up and flanking around. So doing something like that. They're just charging up with all of their dudes. Oh my gosh. I got to. I have to come out here and just whack these guys. They're just asking for it, man. The enemy warriors are running. Ah. You guys get over here. Let's go charge down. You guys get over here. Let's just start hitting all these guys. Okay. Next. 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 Pull away. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. You're going to go hit the catapults. Good. And then you guys just go charge. And let's do this. He does have some cav on the side. I think I'm going to send my uh, dudes over here just to go take care of their cav. The men have no ammunition. You guys should be fine. Let's go get you over here. Yo, you guys should be charging, by the way. They're, they got wrecked, by the way. But they're still pretty efficient. Yeah, they're still doing an okay job. You guys are hitting those guys. That's fine. Um, hey, I want you guys to shoot the archers now. Please. You guys just charge in there. Get these freaking archers taken care of, please. Uh, do the roar. Let's try breaking. They cannot fire. You don't have ammo. Oh, all right. Well, get over here then. <laughs> uh. You come here and then get ready to flank these guys. And we're literally just going to use every little bit of HP we got right now. No yeah, that's fine. Fight. You guys keep doing that. 
Why, why are you guys not killing these dudes? I don't understand why you're still trying to fight and fight these guys. Uh, do we have any flanks available? Yes, we do. Come over here. How is everything going? We're not doing too hot over here on the left flank. Yeah, this battle's not looking like it's going too hot for us right now. Yeah. Okay, I need you guys to come over here. I need my cab. I need my cab over here, please. I need my cab to come over here. Get in here. Help out. You're done, right? So get in here and flank. Oh, actually, hi, right there. The enemy general falls. Nice. That actually worked out really well for us. Do the morale again. Then you charge here as well. They're trying to flank us. We're going to flank their flank. Good. Get over here. Get those guys. You guys come down here. And come whack those guys. Good, 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 good. We might have a shot here, guys. Get in on that. Get over here. Look, the enemy run. I think we're still doing good. Yeah, I mean, we're breaking this whole side now. Some of our guys are going, but I think we're okay. Oh, God, that's a bad spot to be. You guys get the heck out of there. Yeah, you guys go join. Ah, right, you go hit those guys, and then you also go hit those guys. Good. How goes my leaders? They're fine. So this is mostly okay. You guys rallied, so get back over here, help out. Catapult guys, not really doing much of anything. These are all guys that broke. Yeah. I wanted those archers to get out. Where'd all these guys come from? Nice. 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 So it looks like they're auto-using your thing, their abilities, which is nice. Okay, let's get you out. Run away. And then let's go hit these guys in the back. Okay. Once again, just keep coming in here and flanking. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, hey, I want you guys up here. Let's go charge in here and just get a little bit of uh, flavor. All right, you guys get over here. Good, 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 good. That extra morale, I think, is really saving us right now. We're going to win this. It's going to be pretty terrible, but I think we're going to win this. Where's our cav? What are you doing over there? Did you run? Did you run? Uh, oh, it looks like he stopped the try fighting. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think he ran. Okay, good. We got it. Keep, keep hitting. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. So, what is your morale looking like? Go hit this guy. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing over here, but we're basically just trying to, like, if I can get these guys to break. That's what I'm trying to do. I know it's pikemen, and that's not really a good idea. But I'm just trying to break them. Okay, that we, we permanently broke them. So let's get you over here. You guys are flanking all those guys, so come kill these guys. Uh, these guys are all broke, so come get those guys. And essentially, we're just trying to go through these guys one at a time. Yeah, we won this battle. Woo, that was crazy. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> it happens, though. It happens. Who died? It looks like our infantry. Yeah, it definitely looks like infantry is what's dying. But hey, at least they're fighting the death, which I'm not going to complain too much about. A unit has been completely destroyed. Can I duel? No. The enemy general falls. Ah! All right, let's do this. Let's go kill off these guys. I don't want these guys living. So let's try killing these guys off. And then, hey, Cav... Go whack these guys. Where is our other cav? Uh, I'm going to put you on those guys. You go put on those guys. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible right now. And then you guys come chase down their heroes. Actually, you come hit that one. And yeah, you guys go kill those. So I want to kill their hero. Good. Good. Then you finish off these units. Yeah. All right. That totally worked. It's going to take a long time to come back from that one. Like, we took a lot of freaking damage, but... You go hit those guys, please. Uh, where's his lord? He's right there. How much HP does he have? Not a lot. Not a lot. So once you guys wipe these guys out, where's where's our other lord? He's right there. Yo, get over here. 
Go kill those guys. Yeah, we're basically just trying to uh, finish off all these guys. Yeah. All right, you guys are good. So we basically killed like every one of their lords, which is kind of hilarious. It kind of hilarious. I'm just hoping we can catch this guy. We did. We ended up killing another lord. Wow. Man, dude, that is badass. Absolute dominating victory. Okay, you go help out there. So, the cap charges, like, when they're dying, seem to be a little overpowered in this game. They've always been really, really strong. They seem even stronger in this game than they used to be. So, it is almost kind of worthless to not, like, you almost have to do this every single time. All right, good job. We're going to definitely replenish after this attack. Just throwing that out there. Because we're going to need it. I wonder how tired you would be if you're actually doing this on the battlefield and this was actually you fighting. Yeah, I really wonder how tiring this would be. Like, your horse has got to be just like, nah, dude. Nah, we good. We good. How far do we got to go? Not much more. Go go get these guys out. I don't know if it's better to actually finish off a unit. Or if it's better to put them at, like, two or three units. Two or three guys left. Probably better just to strictly finish it off, right? Okay, so let's go finish this guy off, and then we'll call a claim victory. Woo! We did it, guys. Pyrrhic victory. Not my best fight. I always throw that out there. Not my best fight. If it wasn't for my generals, we probably would have struggled a little more, but my generals really carried the day on that. Ooh, he barely almost got away. Or almost did. Oh, suck it. All right, claim victory in battle. I almost want to save the replay on that one, dude. That was crazy. That was crazy. I, I honestly thought we were going to lose it there for quite a while. We, yes, we, we're aware. We're aware. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, continue. What's left? We killed 15. We lost 1,500. We killed 2,600. We have 295 remaining. They have 234 remaining. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and get some units back. That was, that was not a good fight. All things considered, that was not our best fight. Can we go kill you? Bring me news of the province. Cry war. They're deploying 14. I'm a quick save, and we just murdered both our armies. I didn't want to fight another one, so we lost 13 and killed 155. All right, that works. That works. Go ahead and replenish. Yeah, let's replenish. Okay. We're going to basically have to spend like the next six years just rebuilding all of our units. So does that make these guys mad because of reserves? Yeah. Okay. I think we're understanding the reserve aspect of this game. So then I can actually move you back this way. And we want to move you up to the tool makers and hopefully complete that mission. Uh, we did, however, gain some skill points. So general, uh, this is our level three guy. We can do ignore forest penalty and a chance of avoiding eh, whatever. We might want to do fire arrows. Now, I think the f fire arrows versus flaming shot. I gotcha. Okay, so then this gives us fire arrows. Yeah, we're going to definitely do fire arrows. Okay, because fire arrows are badass. Uh, our Chancellor, Zhao Yun, this was our, um, this is our other dude, the guy that likes to do a lot of fighting. We can give him more expertise. Uh, I thought we just did that one. Did we not? No, we gave him intensity. What do we give you? Maybe we, fr oh, we didn't hit apply, I don't think. Whoops. Whoops, that would have been helpful. Yeah, that would have been helpful. So we're at 4k now. Doing pretty good when it comes to money. Uh, overall, this guy is probably extremely weak too. So if we went to diplomacy and we looked at Yun Shao. He probably is extremely weak. Yeah, he has a negligible threat because we just basically destroyed both of his armies. And he definitely wants a peace shield. Could we... Could we ask for territories? Yeah, he would actually give that to us. But not the second one. So the question is, would it be worth it to piece him out right now? And take this for free? It's also really damaged. And never got rebuilt. Huh. That wasn't me. Right? 
No, I don't think I ever attacked that. So I'm not quite sure what's up with that. I need, oh, oh, this is the town. Oh, never mind. How do they do so much damage in one turn? Did he assault this uh, garrison? Like, how did he do so much damage? Or did we just never f fix it from when we conquered it? Huh. It's been a while since I recorded, so I don't really remember. So, there's a couple provinces that have some buildings that we can build. Um, I think we maybe want to start here. We can upgrade you. We can't upgrade anything else. I don't know about that. I kind of think and maybe want to go the iron mine route so we can get even extra income. 300 income versus 200. That's an extra 100 income. Extra prestige. Yeah, I like that one. We'll spend our money there. That's all of our money. But that's okay. That's okay. That works. That works. That works. That works. And I guess we're going to do next turn because there's not really much else for us to do. What are our missions right now? Uh, We have to destroy our ally. Yeah, about that. Can we get Lu Bai into this? He likes us. Is he in an alliance? He's allied with Yun Shao, Yun Shu. So theoretically, I could then uh, ally with these guys here in a little while. What shall we discuss? I can support his claim to be emperor. Do I want to support his claim to be emperor? Oh, I'm a moderate threat, making most of them turn unfriendly. Further increasing your military might or aggression could cause you even more severe reactions. So make sure you strengthen your friendships before you expand further. Oh, okay. All right, here's the question. If I canceled my alliance, do you think other people would like me? I don't know. Like, you think I could join their stuff? Enter freely, friend. It's just so good. Like, I just, I, I just don't want to kill him, man. Oh wait, no, 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 Yun Shao's the one we're currently killing. Oh no, never mind. we're totally okay. We're totally okay. Good, good, good. Dire civil unrest, yeah, okay, that's what we're doing. We're good, we're good. Everything's fine. I keep mixing up all these names. I'm sorry. You are weak and troublesome. Uh, what? Yield. You want me to come your vassal and pay you 63? Because you're calling me weak. Our generosity? Yeah, no. Nah. The only reason you're stronger than me right now is because I literally just lost my entire army fighting a battle. <laughs> I was extremely strong before that. So, I'm not too worried. Yun Shao requested Lu Bei to join their war. Yun Shao, Yun Shu requested Lu Bei to join their war against Dong Mi, right? I think. Because I'm not at war with either of them, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So, once again, I need to get you up here to the Toolmaker. I'm just going to go ahead and run up here. Let's just go here for now in the mine. Actually, no, 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 just stay in the mine. That's fine. We might be able to get there next turn. Uh, Pretty sure we're still having happy issues, right? Got one turn before you guys are all back. Um, Yeah, because the reserves, but you're still mostly positive. Most of this army, well, all this army will be back next turn. Um, Okay, okay. You guys are also probably getting reserve happiness. Yeah. So fighting battles consistently actually makes your people very pissy. We're learning. Today I learned. We also first finished building our city. Um, so we have some happiness issues right now because we're lacking food. So we probably want to go ahead and grab this building, but I just don't have the money right now. What else could we do? We could do extra food production. But this one's not producing any food right now, so I don't know if food production is worth it. Um, the Confucian Temple, maybe? Tax collector? Maybe. Labor is population growth. Private workshop is income from commerce and a little bit from industry. Yeah, actually, that seems pretty good. Or we could do conscription. conscription. Military supplies and garrison. Hmm. Actually gives a little more of a garrison as well. I kind of like the military infrastructure. I think I'm going to chill, though. I don't think I want to build anything this turn. Yeah, I don't think so. So, I kind of need something that's going to give us happiness, I think, is what I'm looking for. 
Unlocks units. What is this one? Saber cavalry. Eh. Income from peasantry is not terrible. Construction cost of mines. Nah. Income from commerce and industry. Satisfaction for sentinels. We're not really caring so much about satisfaction of our generals. Building upkeep. Trade agreements. Maybe. Maybe, actually. Population growth. Dude. Construction costs, military supplies, recruitment costs, available administrator position. We already did that one, did we not? Yeah, we did. I think I'm going to go with the trade agreement. What does that give us? Income from Silk and Spice. And then some really badass looking uh, bowmen. Who are these guys, dude? Onyx Dragon. 99 range power. Dang, dude. Dang, dude. And they're strong. Oh, look at their melee power, too. So they're pretty good in combat. All right. I like this. I like this. I like this. Give me that. And then let's look at doing a trade agreement uh, with Lu Bei. Greetings. Do we have a trade agreement with you? No. He does not have one open. Can we do then quick deal? Non aggression pact. With the Ludai. Let us talk strategies. Yeah. Pay me a little bit of money. Just a little bit. He's still good with this. Oh, okay. Let's go like 102. Let's go 100. Not a th yeah, 1,000. Uh, 99. There you go. Okay, that works. So, there was no quick deal, though. Non-aggression pack. Maybe with Zhang Yang. So, we don't actually have another trade agreement right this second, but that's okay. That's okay. I, I think we have all of our trade agreements uh, used right now. I wish there was a quick way, like, it showed up, like, two or three trade agreements being used. Please don't go for the salt mine. I will be really unhappy. I'll have to trade for it, which would just be annoying. Peace treaty. Peace treaty. Coalition. Wait. You just got vassalized by Dong Min. Uh, all right, was not expecting that. Okay. W was not expecting that. That might be a problem. That might be a problem. Here's my issue. Dong Min, who's not a huge fan of me, now has a vassal that's right on my butt. Support vassal independence. Oh, he doesn't want to go with it. I would totally do it. I would totally do it. Diplomacy, quick deal, support vassal, non-aggression pack. I wonder if the trade thing actually shows up. Yeah, I don't know if the trade thing actually shows up. I think you might have to actually they click through everything. Uh, that's the guy I'm at war with. Welcome. Trade and marriage, we can't trade with you. Let's just run through and see if we can trade. I'm actually at war with you, I didn't even realize this. Do that and that. And make this work. You want... I don't know what this is. Vassalage. Piss off. I'm not going to become your freaking vassal, dude. Oh, he's about to pay me a bunch of money, too. Oh, my God. I hate you so much. Okay, so make payment. It's going to pay you some money to make this work. No, it's literally the exact same freaking crap. Why would you do that? I hate you. What about, um, do I have anything I can just give away? I actually have three of those. Sweet. Sweet. Am I going to regret giving him this? Whoopsie, I don't want to make payment. Am I going to regret giving him something that he's going to um, maybe use against me in the future? Eh, perhaps. So I'm actually currently then at war with him, right? Dong Min. So that means I'm currently at war with Lu Bei then too, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, but anyways, let's go back and talk to him. Okay. 
you're gonna give us a lot of money per turn. So 250? 245. 240? So I'm gonna give him the weapon. We are gonna sign peace. He's gonna give me a trade agreement and he's gonna pay me 240 for 10 turns. Yes, that doesn't seem bad at all. Okay, yeah, let's do this. All right, diplomatic status then. So we are neutral, we're allied, and we're at war with those guys. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that means I'm no longer at war with the guy right next to me. I wonder, is there a way to see my trade agreements? Is there any way to see how many trade agreements I currently have? Welcome, friend. I have no idea. Other than just going through... I didn't even realize we were still at war with that guy, by the way, when I started that negotiation. I was like, oh, well, maybe we should peace out with this guy. Oh, hey, this guy's currently at war with us, and he's bringing in our uh, neighbor. Yeah, we probably want to fix that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like we have another trade agreement. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we're good. So then... And he was actually getting ready to come kill us, I think. Right? Hung shot. Which is. Wh who, I can't remember who's who. No. No, you must just be someone I hadn't met yet. Hung Shao. He doesn't like me, but we're not at war. Oh, it is you. Right? No, we're not at war. Oh my gosh. This could be a little less confusing. Just gonna throw that out there. It's a little on the confusing side, but it's okay. We're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. We could use the extra food production. I think I am gonna go do that. I am at one again. And then let's go get you up here and hopefully this finishes the mission. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we get support from Arson, so we get extra money. Good. That'll work. That'll work. And then I'm just gonna put you down here probably in our capital. But let's do like regular movement from my here on out. Just so you can uh, actually, oh, I was in March stance, dang it. Ah, uh, because I want you to actually gain some, uh, people. The question is, do we want to go march this guy out? Because these salt mines are going to be extremely weak. I think we might as well. What? Just going to delegate. Shouldn't be a problem. And I might want to peace out now at this point. We might want to peace out. Is this worth 900 income? I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, hostage sent. Nice. 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 And let's go repair it. So I guess if it's at level 1, you just have to repair it, is kind of what it seems like. Then here, we could take you up to a small city. Unfortunately, that's going to use extra food production, which we can't afford right now. This gives us extra f one extra food production, so I think we'll go spend the money on that. Um, remember, these guys are completely destroyed right now. Wait, did he rebuild his army this quick? Dang, dude. Dang, dude. Or he has another army, one of the two. Uh, Han Feo is currently fighting our dude. That's Yang Yan. That's our ally. He's currently getting ready to go blow up Han Fu. Which I'm okay with. Yeah, he's currently sieging down both of the territories. Alright, that works. That works. And both of them are the same. So, alright. You can go that way. I think we're good. Uh, how long till we can get to the next tier? Because I would love to be Duke. Now, we need to be King so we can actually... Um... Oh, the first three warlords to be named King will proclaim themselves Emperor. Ah, nice. But then at this point, we can, uh, I think, actually have people join us. Like, we can integrate allies and stuff like that. Okay. We knew about that. We know about that. We could actually still build a few more buildings. What do we got? Probably more food production, because food production's just been terrible. Then again, extra money is not terrible either. That one gives us extra set A income from commerce and then from a mine, but this is a fishing port. I don't know if I really like this building here. So this is an extra 25% income from commerce, which is going to be 
10% would be 37. So 54 plus half of 27, 9, uh, 63. Where then this is going to be 20. So this is actually just way better. But then it's also going to cost 10. It's still fine. It's still fine. Okay, we still got a couple more places we can build buildings. I don't want to upgrade you. Um, I don't really want to upgrade you. Oh, we can't afford it. All right, let's do one more turn, then we're going to wrap this up. I'm just, we are really late, but he wants a uh, piece. I'm going to say no. You are too greedy. I'm going to say no, even though it's a lot of money. Simply because right now we have no other targets. And I see no reason to actually stop or push. Because I would love to take these last couple territories. Okay, Lube joined the war against war declared between Liu Bei and Zheng Zhang. All right, pretty sure that's not us. Noble birth. Oh my gosh, we have another kid. My gosh, how many kids are going to pop out, dude? How many kids are going to freaking pop out? My goodness there. Oh, hey, she's a court noble. Nice. She's six. Oh, God. How old are we? We're 46. Our wife is 42. Okay, so 42-year-old uh, women in uh, ancient China could still have babies. Good. I need you here just in case. I don't know what's going on with these guys. I'm a little concerned about this. Um, Hung Xiao. That was... Who? Some dude that's over here, I think. We hadn't met yet. Yeah, we hadn't met yet. Uh, is he at war with someone? Can we see Hung Xiao? Hung Xiao, you're currently at war with the Han Empire, Han Fu. He might be going for Han Fu. Or our ally. Yeah, he might just be going over there for that war. Maybe, maybe. Invoke Council, overpopulation. We need to build another settlement. Yeah, we need another uh, settlement building. Eh, kind of boring. Kind of boring, to be honest. We've, we've already done this multiple times. So, you're already a large city. I don't really want to go to a regional city. I'd rather bump you up to a large city first. Money is still pretty good here. You need to go off into regular stands, please. Thank you. And then you can go sit in the capital. Okay, so next turn we could actually upgrade this, but it's probably going to take uh, too many turns that I just don't want to wait. So, is there any other large town we can take you to a city? Six turns. I think we'll do that. We'll do that just so we can make sure we finish the council mission. Uh, you guys are still very unhappy up here. But it's not going down. So that's good. That's good. Maybe I should leave my army up there. Prepare my chambers. I don't want to leave my army up there because the army gives a positive bonus, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I should. I think I should. You're actually losing a little bit of happiness. Um, but part of that's because you just flipped over to my faction. All right, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I will see you guys next episode. Bye, everybody.